Hey guys, what's up, my name is Trix, a. Kiniko, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about skills, and here I start off my series on every single one of them. And we're going to start off with combat. Before we start out though, here's a reminder to like if you like what you see, and also subscribe if you don't want to miss what's coming up next. I'm currently testing a lot of new methods on farming not only skills, but also grinding out money, so if you want to get notified whenever I hit gold on one of them, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. But for now, let's talk about the combat skill. And before I forget to mention this, since I'm not level 50 on any skill yet, it would be rather stupid for myself to represent the words that I preach. With this said, I have a special guest with me, and he is level 50 and therefore can give you a better insights on what it's actually like. So today I got Max with me. He's not only insane on the YouTube grind, but he also knows himself around level 50 skills, therefore if you want to hear him out on what it's actually like, then make sure to stick around till the end. The combat skill, unlike fishing and enchanting for example, is a skill that's been farmable in numerous different ways. It grants you 0.5% crit chance for every level that you increase on it, as well as a growing amount of extra damage against mobs. You can probably think of multiple ways why having this skill on a higher level is something you might want to work towards in order to grow your strength as well as progress in Skyblock. So like I already said, there is multiple ways of grinding XP for this skill. And since this is supposed to help you out with the skill itself, here's a quick list of things you would want to prepare before actually starting to grind. A legendary wolf pet, which obviously buffs your XP gain, potions such as combat XP and regular enchanting potions brewed with the viking's tier to again buff your XP gain, a hunter talisman or even ring to again buff your XP gain, lastly the slayer's global combat XP buff that you gain by defeating slayers with unique tiers for the first time. So now that you're prepared, here's a quick reminder that the following numbers are strictly bound to my gear and my setup and it might obviously change in ways depending on yours. So here are the most popular and best methods of grinding the combat skill. Revenants are notorious for being the best and most efficient way of getting combat XP. The only reason it's not the only method people are using to actually gain combat XP is their immense cost. A single tier 4 revenant costs 50,000 coins, which you probably are able to complete within less than a minute. So in general, the revenants are by far the easiest and best way of actually progressing with the combat skill, but rather expensive. With a couple of tests, this obviously is very much bound to my setup and gear, I found out that by completing tier 4 revenant bosses, I would be able to gain around 450,000 XP per hour but this, like I said, comes with an insane cost of coins. Next up, we got pearl spamming. This also is a method that is quite well known and also has a lot of pros and cons coming with it. Pearl spamming is something that has been around for a very long time. Actually, the beginning has been the release of the end update. Therefore, we already know a lot about it and there are multiple different ways of actually using this strategy to not only farm combat, but even more so money or even pets. With this said, here are the benefits of using pearl spamming to increase your combat skill. The best benefit is the free chance of winning a legendary pet, such as an enderman pet or even a phoenix pet, since you kill a lot and therefore increase the chance of actually getting a reward. Another big factor is money. There are different ways of killing the enderman that spawn by pearl spamming, but the best way is to use a raider's axe. And if you want to gain XP, don't use an explosive bow. And since every method comes with a high price, even though it's not money itself this time, here's why pearl spamming is a bit harder to execute than you think. It requires two people. And before everyone gets off in the comments telling me about this solo pearl spamming method, I am well aware of it, but it actually is very exhausting to execute as well as it slows down the combat XP gain by a ton, where it would make this method as inefficient as not even to be a part of this list anymore. And other than that, in comparison to Revenant, it only generates around 280,000 XP per hour, which makes it appear way less than Revenants because it is, but in comparison it still is a very viable method since it doesn't cost a single coin to execute. Continuing on this path of methods, we're going to head into the dungeons, whereas this is not an actual consistent way of generating a consistent number, since it obviously depends on so many more factors, like for example the floor structure and the time spent on secret hunting and much more, but by testing on floor 2, which is a floor where I think that people would have an easier way to get to, it turned out to, at least like I said in my testing, generate around 60,000 coins per hour. Now hear me out, this number does not represent the fact that this method is bad in any way, not in the slightest, it just represents that this method is something you could do whilst playing the game, whilst progressing in so much more than just the slayer XP that you would gain from farming revenants, and also to have the chance to gain insane rewards and you'd even have the chance to turn out profiting from this method. The 60,000 XP that I was talking about were made whilst running an actual dungeon, and on top of that it only was a floor 2 dungeon, which means you could most likely improve on that by a lot progressing in the floors. And lastly, as somewhat 
of an honorable mention, this method doesn't work anymore, but I had to include it since it was probably the biggest game changer back in the days. Cast farms. These were the fastest way of growing and the some might say unfair bit was the fact that it was literally done without having to move a single muscle. You could literally get the same if not more XP than you were able to gain by farming revenants whilst fully being AFK. Alright, so here's the moment that you've all probably been waiting for. I've thought of this in various ways but I think this might actually be the coolest. So here is an exclusive interview with the legend himself Max. All right. Hey there, what's up? Welcome to the video. Thanks for having me. First up, uh, here's a really quick question. When did you reach combat level 50? I reached combat level 50 back in the beginning of January. So I'm pretty sure a lot of people saw my video about that. Yeah, it kind of blew up. I have to admit it, it was one of the biggest videos back then. Thank you, man. Thank you. So what methods did you use in this or like in this adventure of, of reaching combat level 50? Well, I used a combination of power spamming and gas grinding. I would place foul flesh in my gas minions for around 10 hours. So I'd grind it for 10 hours until my friend got home and then he would power spam for me for around like five, six hours and I'll be killing the zealots the whole time. So he wouldn't be grinding, it would just be me and I'll be getting all the XP. So that's how like I maximized my time. This is absolutely crazy. Like like I already said in, in the video, gas farms are basically the thing that was the biggest thing back then. And yeah, you kind of heard it here as well. Pearl spamming is still a big factor. And what would you describe the most difficult part about the grind? Like you said, it was like hours upon hours of grinding. So, so what was the difficultest part about it? Yeah, well, if you know that Hypixel has a anti-AFK thing, like if you don't move your mouse, you don't get XP. So yeah. I had to like move my mouse the whole time when I was grinding for like 10 hours straight and it would like kind of affect my wrist and sometimes oh I wouldn't be able to like grind as well because my wrist would just be hurting from all the grinding. So you were basically grinding gas as well as pearl spamming the entire yeah. freaking day. Yep. That's absolutely crazy. I can imagine how hard it could be. I'm not even there, yeah, probably halfway there. Okay, let's move on. How would you farm today? Because today gas farms don't exist anymore and if you'd have to start over, what exactly would you avoid? Well, personally, I would grind revs because, you know, they're just really good to grind for the XP. And I would level up pets on the side and sell them for profit because I do like making money. He doesn't. So basically with the XP share, right? Yeah. Okay, I see. I would also avoid power spamming because it isn't as fast as revs. And if I have the money, it's better for me to do revs instead of power spamming. Yeah, like I obviously said in the, in the video already, pearl spamming gives way less than, than revenants. It obviously is free, so it's probably better for beginners or people who don't have the money. But okay, yeah. so, so basically just grind out revs until you're done. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so here is like three categories that I'm going to try to introduce into the series. Whereas you're going to rate the combat skill in this case, or like the skill that we're talking about in those three categories, depending on whatever you have as well. Like for example, you, you've you grinded a lot of skills already. And so yeah. you can basically decide whether or not it's a, it's a difficult thing or like how, how enjoyable it is. So first up difficulty, this is basically just including preparation and what exactly you do in the method. Well, personally, I would say two. It doesn't really require too much effort because once you get used to it, you can just pretty much do it AFK, you know? You're there, but you're not there at the same time because you've just got the hang of it, you know? You can literally just watch a whole show on Netflix and not have to look at the screen. The only time that you would have to look at the screen is when your pots run out or when the foul flesh in the minions run out. So that's the only oh, time. Okay. Look so back. basically refuel them every once in, in in a while. Yeah. Okay, I see. And and for the next part, I think you already said a lot of it, but joy, basically how enjoyable was the way getting there? Because if you watch Netflix movie, that's that's pretty much yeah, you can you can obviously enjoy that, but pearl spamming yeah. kind of takes you your like it takes you to be active, right? Yeah, so you can only really listen to music and like, you know, I just end up listening to different type of music because you kind of just get bored listening to the same playlist. So Okay, yeah. so what would you rate the enjoyment of this, like, grind to level 50? Um, I would just say it's like a 3, you know? I get it, since you can basically farm uh, whilst watching Netflix or listening to music. Yeah. But it, it, it kind of, isn't the repetitive part a bit, like, getting bored or whatever? Like, aren't you getting bored? Well, I, I was, but like, I feel like the Netflix just, like, made it a lot easier. 
Like without it, I don't think I would have been able to do it, you know? All right, fair enough, fair enough. And lastly, time. Like here you have to, I don't know, compare it to other skills that you have grinded for. And basically how much time did you, you, you said you grinded like for days. So I get, I'm, I'm assuming it took yeah. a long time. So what would you rate it? I would rate it around like a four because I, I know there are harder skills, but combat isn't really too hard. It took me around like one month of just like grinding every day. But but wait, you grinded one month for every single day. How many hours? Yeah. Like when you stood up well, and, and until you fell asleep again? Oh, well, that, that was my day. I would wake up, I would, you know, have a shower, make coffee, turn on my PC and start grinding, you know? That was like Holy cow. my schedule every day. <laughs> it's kind of sad, but you got to do it for the skills, you know? You got to do it. I mean, yeah. Skills. I mean, obviously the, the video blew up like crazy and I would say it was worth it. I mean, yeah, I can't definitely. really imagine it, but yeah. Yeah, it, it was definitely worth it. What would you tell the people if they actually get ahead and go to level 50 grinding, like, and de decide to go for for combat? What what exactly? Do you have any kind of feedback for them? Like, would you yeah. what would you want to give them? Them on their way well i'll just say you know make sure you have a lot of water and you stay hydrated you should <laughs> eat as well because without energy you can't really do much you'll just no, like crash halfway idea. you know that's a very good idea and then just tell your mom that you love her because you know, sometimes people just get too ahead of the grind you know they get too into the grind they just forget about their family <laughs> oh that is actually a very very good part here yeah, yeah. i haven't actually thought so about that if you want to like grind a lot just like tell your mom you love her close the door and yeah just grind out for one month get into the zone all right yeah, zone. well thank you so much for joining i'm sure this is going this is not going to be the last appearance of yours since you have so many skills in level 50 already yeah man and for everyone else watching uh if you enjoy skill grinding or you want to see the possibilities that come with like max levels then make sure to check out this channel as well it's going to be linked down below thank you, and thank since you. this was it on the combat skill though i would highly appreciate a like as well as if you want to learn more about other skills then feel free to follow me on the series that i'm going to start with this video and subscribe and also turn on the notification bell to always stay up to date when I'm uploading. And with this said, I hope you enjoyed the video. So thank you very much for watching and have an awesome day.